What up my X fam? I am back with a review on a work in progress 3D action roguelike game called Seki no Kenshin or Machina of the Planet Tree Mugen Orotaku for the English translated title. The game is being developed by a small production circle named Dineko Yugi and the latest demo has been out since December of 2023 I believe. They are hard at work and they are keeping us up to date on social media and their website which I will leave in the description below. They also have a Patreon to give you an inside look into the development process, so please support them there as well if you can. For now, let me give you the rundown on my experience playing the demo. First and foremost, this is in Japanese for the time being, and I am using an Xbox controller which is compatible with the game. Next, let me talk about the title screen. It has a lovely OSU playing in the background as you pretty much get to it. And each time you boot up the game, which means not only is it this one time I'm showing you, but multiple times you'll get the MC in different poses. I have only seen three of the poses, but more could be added in the future as far as, you know, the updates go. Moving along to the battle area, your controls will show up to make you aware of what does what. Since I was using an Xbox controller, X is for normal attacks, while Y is for strong attacks. RT is the shield, which can be used for guarding, and B is shield burst, which can be used to damage enemies. Pressing R, B, and A is to dodge as you move around with the L analog stick. The D-pad controls the camera distance on the character, and the R analog rotates the camera itself. Activate Ninjutsu by holding LB, then pressing the X, Y, A, or B buttons when you have gauge to use. LT performs your ultimate attack when the ultimate gauge reaches 100%, and that's it as far as functions go. Now we're about to get into the fight. You feel a sense of familiarity and think this will be the next Sin Kagura game. I assure you, this is nothing like Sin Kagura. Sin Kagura is, is just on another level from this itself. I mean, not to get on the overly busty part of those ninjas in Sin Kagura, but it's just a lot going on in Sin Kagura. As now, you could say the enemies are pretty much the same, being weak, and you can take them out. And it's kind of like the hack and slash type, which is the same as in Rancagra, but, you know, it's definitely not the same. I've tried a lot of things in the demo, and clothes won't be torn or anything of that nature. You do get jiggle physics, so there is a good thing with that, so... If you want, if you're looking for that, you're definitely going to get it. But remember that as enjoyable as the demo was for me and easy to figure out, this is a work in progress. So I can't review it harshly because it gets updated as time goes on. And I don't want to make an error right now with how I feel about it. Right now, I'm okay with it. It's not bad. I just want to see more. You feel me? But... What I would like to see in an update, however, is multiple types of enemies and possibly a lock-on system. I think that's pretty doable. I'm sure that's in the works anyway, as well as getting a VA to voice the MC, as the MC is pretty silent when I was playing the game. But you could tell her mouth did move when you're playing. So I'm assuming they haven't got like the funds for it yet to get the VA, so it is what it is. But only time will tell as far as that goes. The devs have addressed some concerns on social media, such as alternate costumes, which is wanted but not possible for this game. Multi-platform release, which they do not have the money for to do like ports and such, and possible time frame for the full release of this game, which is no time in this year. Now, it could be 2025, 2026, I'm not too sure. It depends on what they actually want to do with this game. We may not even get this game, but they're still working on it and they're trying to get it to us, but we will see. Uh, there is something uh, I do believe a Steam page is going to get released in the summer 2024. I did see that on social media. So be on the lookout for that and put it on your wish list to show support and whatnot. I will try to keep up with this as things move forward and hopefully you do too. I also hope you enjoy my thoughts on the demo and smash that like button. Feedback is definitely appreciated and be sure to drop feedback on the devs Twitter and YouTube pages. Subscribe to both of our channels and until next time, keep grinding X-Fam. I am out of here.